Hello, my name is Daryl Walker, and I compete in the sport of goalball. I competed in the 2008 Paralympic Games in Beijing, China, and the 2016 Paralympic Games in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, where the USA men's goalball team took silver. Today, I would like to show you a workout as part of USABA's Staying Fit While Staying Put video series. These past couple of weeks have been a challenge for each of us. It is my hope and goal and showing this workout will help you maintain or improve your fitness. The workout that I'm about to show you today is yoga as a cool down after the workout. I've been a practitioner of yoga for almost four years now. It has helped me overcome lower back pain and muscle soreness. It has also helped me improve flexibility, balance, and mobilization when participating in strength and conditioning and goal ball training. In fact, I've enjoyed yoga so much that I'm currently studying to become a full-time yoga instructor. The yoga sequence that I am about to show will take about 10 to 15 minutes. Each hold should be held from between 30 to 60 seconds. However, for the sake of time of this video segment, I am gonna show you this sequence at a more rapid pace. So. Without further ado, let's do some yoga. All right, here we go. So if you have a yoga mat, go ahead and roll it out to on the ground as you see right here. If you don't, you can use a towel or if you have a carpeted floor or any type of floor surface, it's completely fine as well. We're gonna start off by being in a cross-legged cross seated position right here. We're gonna start off with just some easy breathing with this segment. Hands are gonna be resting on your knees or clasped together as so, or clasped together in prayer pose. We're just gonna do some deep breathing in through nose, out through mouth. From here, we're gonna take our right leg, bring it straight forward, bring the sole of your left foot on the inside of your right quad, raise your arms up, slowly come down to head to knee pose. Goal is to bring your head to your, as close to your knee as possible, but the main objective is to stretch out your hamstrings. You can either grab your toes, foot, or ankle to bring you closer down. If you feel it more in your lower back, it's just because your hamstrings are a little tight, so you can do a slight bend, come even closer so you can feel it in your hamstring. Then you're gonna switch, left leg out, Sole of your right foot inside of your left quad. Come up and go down. And from here, you're going to bring both your feet together while in what's called cobbler or in traditional stretching, the butterfly. You can rest your hands on your feet for support. Bring your elbows on your quads to press downward. And you should feel it in your groin muscles. After that, bring your legs straight out. We're gonna come up to what's called tabletop. Hands are gonna be facing downward, flat on the ground. Knees are gonna be flat down as well. Keep your alignment good. From here, you're gonna rise up onto your knees. You're gonna bring your right leg out. Right knee is gonna point straight up. Right foot forward, hips forward, back into the upright. Right hand on your right knee. You're gonna press forward into low lunge. Hand can be on the top of your right hand, or you can have both your arms up, or you can have your arms to your side, whatever suits you. Or you can even have your left arm up as your right hand's down. They come out, left foot out, left knee up, left foot straight, right leg straight, and go down. Now that's done. Back to your knees, come back in tabletop. Now we're gonna go what's called threading a needle. What that means is you're gonna take your left arm, go completely underneath your right arm, lay your left shoulder all the way down. The left side of your head is gonna be flat, which means you're gonna be looking towards the right side of your body. You may keep your position like this, or take your arm straight out, or lift your arm straight up in the air, with your fingertips pointing to the sky, arms straight. Come back.
back up, thread a needle on the other side, for your right shoulder, right side of your head is on the ground, left arm is either straight, bent, fingers pointed in the air, whichever suits you. Gonna come back up, now we're gonna go in what's called re re reverse corpse pose. You're gonna be flat on your stomach, arms are gonna be in front of you, resting your forehead down, and then from court, reverse courts, moving to finks. Elbows are going to be down. Arms are going to be, fingers are going to be spread apart. I'm just going to press upward. Stretching out your chest. Feel this in your lower back. Come back down. Bring your hands close to your pectoral muscles. You're going to press up into cobra. Arms should be straight. You should feel this in your lower back again. Deeper stretch there. Come back down, pop up the tabletop, and then downward dog. Downward dog is an upside down V. Arms are gonna be stretched out completely. Head's gonna be straight up next to your arms. Legs are gonna be straight. You should feel this in your calves, hamstrings. If you wanna move your calf muscles in place, lifting your heels up, you know, alternate. From there, we're gonna bring our knees back down to tabletop. We're gonna go back into child's pose. Child's pose can be done in many ways. You can even have your arms straight up like this as your butt is back. Or you can bring your hands together over the crown of your head. Or you can bring your hands back as you're touching your feet. And we're resting your shoulders over. Raise up into a kneeling position. And then from here, we're gonna sit back. Fly back in corpse pose. So here for a second. Bring both your knees to your chest. Arms straight out. And we're gonna go into a recline twist. So slowly bring our legs out to the right side of our body. You should feel this in your hip flexors. Shoulders should stay down. If you want to get your top leg a little lower, you can take your right hand, place it on your knee, slowly bring it down, get a deeper stretch. Slowly come back up, go to the other side. And your head can either be facing the direction of your legs or it can be pointing towards the opposite direction. Come back up, bring your legs back down, straight ahead, back in corpse pose. Stay here for a good duration of time. Focus on relaxing all your muscle groups. Getting good, easy breathe, breaths. And then whenever you're done, roll to either side, roll up, back in easy pose. Deep breath in, and out. And that's the end of the workout. Thank you so very much guys for watching. Please uh, tune in to USABA's Facebook page for more uploaded videos and also comment and repost this anytime you want to um, engage into a weekly drawing of a $25 gift certificate to Dick's Sporting Goods. Once again, my name is Daryl Walker. Thank you so much for watching. Namaste.